Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is October 11th, 2019, and we're on Hilton Head Island in Palmetto Hall. And we're here to see this beautiful brand new house at 370 Fort Howell Drive. And it was built by Jacoby and Sons Custom Home Builders, listed by Bryan Home Realty for $699,000. It has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a bonus room up over the garage, a beautiful screen porch, golf course view, all kinds of beautiful design features inside. I think you're going to like it. Let's just take a quick look around the neighborhood here on Fort Howell Drive. Very quiet, gated community with two 18-hole golf courses, the Robert Cup course, the Arthur Hills course, both of which have the optional membership. And before we go into this house, let's go see these amenities and talk a bit more about the community. Well, my cell number is 843-684-2933. Please call any time. My email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. My website, gogated.com. Well, I hope you find me. I'd like to work with you as your buyer's agent here in Palmetto Hall, Hilton Head Island, in Bluffton. So please call, please email. Let's talk about your real estate interests, your budget, your lifestyle, the kind of home and community that you want. I have 44 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder. I love working with my buyers on new homes, new builds, as we compare builders and communities for you. And of course, I'm only paid as a buyer's agent by the commission that is in this home and all other listed homes and new builds. I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close. The commission is already in the price, ladies and gentlemen. It makes it awfully easy to have a good buyer's agent working for you, helping you in many ways. So thank you again for watching today. If you like the video, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. So please subscribe. Well, the annual HOA for Palmetto Hall in 2019 is $1,640. And that includes having this 24-hour manned security gated entrance. And just because you have a security gate, folks, doesn't mean that it's a snobby community. This is a very, very friendly community. But when you have great amenities and a beautiful environment, it keeps people out of your community who shouldn't be there. People who might come on in and jump in your swimming pool, walk out on your golf course, or surveil your home. And in addition to which, security does a lot other than stop people at the gate. They also provide surveillance on your house while you're away, and they also provide emergency medical service with those paddles that can be life-saving. They'll get there faster than the EMS even though they're close by. They are a valuable service to an upscale community like Palmetto Hall. It's part of what you're paying for in that annual HOA. The clubhouse at Palmetto Hall with dining and informal dining on the first floor and the second floor with a huge event room for meetings and social events here in the community. The clubhouse has formal dining and informal dining at the grill room.
here's the grill at the Palmetto Hall Clubhouse and it's part of your social membership which is mandatory the fee for 2020 has already been announced at $1229 there's also a $150 per quarter minimum food and beverage fee and that's because management wants you to come out and support the club and be social here in the grill and at the dining room the second floor porch of the clubhouse at Palmetto Hall and just beyond the putting green and the driving range here is the golf shop at Palmetto Hall and I've got three takeaways for you regarding golf here in Palmetto Hall the first is that it's very high quality you have two championship 18 hole golf courses the Arthur Hills course and the Robert Cup course they're both outstanding the second takeaway is that golf is optional in Palmetto Hall you are not required to play golf you're not required to pay for golf there are tiered golf memberships that you can take out and we can talk more about those fees they're very reasonable and a general good deal but it is optional the third takeaway is that golf here in Palmetto Hall is also open to the public and to control costs the community sold the golf courses to a management company and well the courses were open to the public before but now it's even better for the community because they don't have to maintain the courses now the public can come into this parking area and no farther than it takes to get here to the golf shop and to the cart barn they are not allowed access to the community that's restricted only for members who can also walk easily over here to the golf pro shop the swimming pool at Palmetto Hall just beyond a sitting area a pavilion with fireplace and restrooms and a spa use of the pool and the tennis courts are included in your mandatory social membership fee which in 2020 will be twelve hundred and twenty nine dollars and that in addition to your mandatory HOA fee which in 2019 has been sixteen hundred and forty dollars the outside fireplace is under the pavilion at the sitting area between the pool and the spa and the spa is next to the swimming pool Palmetto Hall has two hard tennis courts great windscreen all the way around both lighted for night play and there's a playground next to the swimming pool the tennis courts and the clubhouse so we're back now at 370 Fort Howell Drive and again my name is Richard Kadish K-A-D-E-S-C-H my company Go Gated Realty like gated communities and I'm the gated community specialist ladies and gentlemen and both Go Gated Realty and gated community specialist are federally registered trademarks well this house has 2880 square feet the siding is the hardy plank which is the concrete fiberboard that the bugs don't eat doesn't rot it's on all the best homes in the area we have a two and a half car garage there is a cart bay on the other side of the garage area there uh, as I said in the introduction that is a bonus room over the garage we have large vinyl clad windows 
lots of light in this house covered front porch let's go in and take a look I think you're gonna like it just two steps up to the front door the entire first floor is on slab all three bedrooms on the first floor that's the way to be ladies and gentlemen the earth is your best insulator and concrete means that you don't have any humidity or varmints living underneath your house When we enter the house, our line of sight is directly across to the living area and beyond the screen porch to the golf course out back, the fifth fairway of the Robert Cup course. The contemporary floor plan has the kitchen open to the dining area, open to the living room, and it just has the one dining area, no formal dining room. Before we go on though, let's take a look at this office immediately to the side of the foyer. This front office is magnificent. Not only does the oak floor flow right into it, but it has two pocket doors that close. It has high judges paneling, which is wood paneling that comes halfway up the wall. And it has this outstanding high ceiling which brings in light from two stories up and illuminates the entire room. Even in addition to these two large windows. A magnificent office. Let's see those two pocket doors when they're closed. The two pocket doors close each with a full panel of glass, give the office and the entrance a distinctive contemporary look. Very cool. Beautiful oak floors throughout the living areas, carpet in the bedrooms, the living room fireplace has a paneled wall surrounding it. We have the cascading sliding door giving out to the screen porch. Our kitchen and dining room are to the side and open to all of this. This is your one dining area, the current trend. The buyers that I work with generally like to have one dining area, don't necessarily want a formal dining room. The kitchen has the one level island with the beautiful quartz tops. That's your cut above granite folks. It's much more stain resistant. The pattern is more consistent and predictable than granite and yes it does cost more. The GE profile stainless appliances with your gas range. Actually it's propane here in Palmetto Hall with a beautiful tiled splash, undermount, cabinet lighting. Yes, the cabinets are soft close. Some beautiful woodwork in this house, folks. Very rich looking. We've got our stainless farm bin here. So many details. All the ceiling fans are here multiple recessed ceilings, just a beautiful house. Our master bedroom is off to the side of the foyer. Let's go take a look at it right now. The primary bathroom, often called the master bathroom, has a beautiful rectangular tiled floor in the Carrera marble style, but it's porcelain. The double basin vanity has the quartz tops with the undermount porcelain sinks. Freestanding contemporary tub looking good. 
we have a frameless shower and a big one with a high window overhead with a rain head. These are things you just don't see in other houses. We must take a closer look. In the shower, the tile work goes up high. Not only do we have the rain head, we have a wand. Some beautiful tile work here. What a bathroom. The hallway between the bathroom and the primary bedroom has your two walk-in closets. And each one has a, what is sometimes called a barn door, but in this case, it's contemporary. So it's combining new and old. It's got the barn door exterior rack, taking the place of a pocket door, but it has your modern look. Each closet is large. One for him, and one for her. They look to be about the same size, much bigger than you see in most homes, ladies and gentlemen. And into the primary bedroom we go with this beautiful trio of windows at the back, two windows on the side. The view is fabulous out across the golf course. There's also a water view out there. This is where your headboard would go, I'm sure, at my back. And above we have a double recess ceiling, crown molding around the base, two steps up, each with large crown molding, contemporary ceiling fan. What a house. What a room. And what a view. Let's go out back and take a closer look. Well, on our way to the backyard, we'll take another look at this beautiful cluster of windows, doors actually, from the living room. And out here we have a high volume screen porch with the beadboard ceiling way up there. Aluminum paneled screens and a large space out here certainly I think big enough for most people you're in the shade in the afternoon which is good let's step out and take a closer look your yard is of course sodded and sprinkled with a sprinkler system beautiful private setting here in Palmetto Hall at 2, excuse me, 370 Fort Howe Drive. This back view of the house and yard gives you a sense of the size of the lot which is 0 0.37 acres. So let's get oriented back inside as we go to see the second and third bedrooms and the bonus room. Well, they're off to the left, down this hallway, past the kitchen, and at the back, let's call it bedroom number two, with a big pair of windows. Another great ceiling fan. 
And notice that the house has the high baseboards. That's an option in many homes, which is an extra cost. All the woodworking here is perfect. Our second bathroom is shared by the third bedroom. We have a tiled shower here. In a lot of homes you'll see the second bedroom or second bathroom with a fiberglass shower. But the quality here is very high throughout. And we have a table style vanity. Colors are beautiful. They all blend together. The marble top with the undermount porcelain sink. Distinctive light features, light fixtures, excuse me. Eight foot high doors. Here's our third bedroom. You have high flat ceilings. So next to the third bedroom, our stairway takes us to that bonus room over the garage. Let's go and see it now. Very light and bright with a dormer. A true bonus room and not a bedroom because even though it has a closet, it does not have a bathroom. Great room for whatever you need. Exercise, second office, media, hobby, game room, whatever you like. And through that door to the right is our walk-in attic. It's worth a look. And that's because it shows off the spray foam insulation between our rafters. Also worth seeing is this high volume attic that has lots of flooring space for storage. Everything new in a new house, ladies and gentlemen. Your new hot water heaters, your new heating and air systems. There are two of them in this house. And look at all of this insulation. Well, the high volume attic by itself is terrific because the higher your roof is from your ceiling, the more comfortable you're going to be. But combine it with this spray foam insulation and you've got some true energy savings over time and great comfort inside your house. You'll save money on electricity. Off of our front hallway, we want to see the half bath and the laundry in the garage. Well, this is something we just don't want to miss. Look at this beautiful brick floor with the Savannah brick style. Beautiful pavers, not to be missed. One of the highlights of the house for me. Our half bath is here with the pedestal sink. Look at the details. That wood paneling going right up the half bath wall to more crown molding. I am in love. Into the laundry we go. With cabinets, wash basin, more of this beautiful brick. Couldn't be better, folks. Outstanding. And into our two and a half car garage, because it has that half cart or the half car cart entrance off the side of the house. Well, if you have a golf cart, that's where it'll go. If not, well, you've got extra space for storage. Your whole house water cutoff is over here. And let's just take a quick note of the attention to detail on our foundation with the seashell finish. We see that outside and even in the details of this finished garage. What a house! Your garage doors have, of course, the automatic garage door openers. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour 
of 370 Fort Hall Drive even half as much as I did, I love showing beautiful custom homes. And I'd look to talk to you about your real estate interests in this home, in this community, or the Hilton Head Bluffton area in general. Let me give you my contact information so that you know how to reach me. Well, my cell number is 843-684-2933. Please call any time. My email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. My website, gogated.com. Well, I hope you find me. I'd like to work with you as your buyer's agent here in Palmetto Hall, Hilton Head Island, in Bluffton. So please call, please email. Let's talk about your real estate interests, your budget, your lifestyle, the kind of home and community that you want. I have 44 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder. I love working with my buyers on new homes, new builds, as we compare builders and communities for you. And of course, I'm only paid as a buyer's agent by the commission that is in this home and all other listed homes and new builds. I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close. The commission is already in the price, ladies and gentlemen. It makes it awfully easy to have a good buyer's agent working for you, helping you in many ways. So thank you again for watching today. If you like the video, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. So please subscribe.